it's 25 September. After a short break, we returned not wanting to miss too much of this amazing spectacle of nature, the red deer rut. Unlike us, the stags don't afford to take breaks during the rutting season. This time, our objective is to film the stag that was roaring in the alpine meadows where we met the bears. We have to position ourselves in a good spot before the deer come into the meadows to graze, so we start climbing early. It's not the right time yet, but we already spot our first deer. It's not a red deer though, but a roe deer, and it's a big buck with spectacular antlers. As we lay in the grass behind the juniper, ready for the stag to come, we think to ourselves, it's a shame we don't have time to get some closer shots of that beautiful roe deer buck. Suddenly, something in the sky catches our attention. Unbelievably, a golden eagle pair appeared and they're searching for prey in the same alpine meadow. We make eye contact, but they don't seem bothered by our presence and resume their hunt. These are surely adults because there's no sign of white on the wings and tail. They keep circling above the tree line and then one of them makes a spectacular dive into the forest. Amazing! Although the attack wasn't successful, the eagles continue circling in the area. I suspect they're hunting capercaillies that come to the meadows to eat cranberries in this period. Wow! Such a rare thing to witness and film. How lucky of us! After a few minutes, the eagle pair elegantly leaves the scene. A couple hundred meters from us, a roe deer mother with her already big fawn appear. During late spring and summer, when the fawns are smaller, they are often on the eagle's hunt list. This time, they were off the menu. The sky is particularly crowded this evening with some peregrine falcons and loads of ravens that entertain them. The rocket-like sounds of diving peregrines are giving us goosebumps. Half an hour until sunset. If this day would end here, I would be more than satisfied with what I have seen until now. A roar resounds from the valley. He's finally coming. First, I see his signs, and after a while we spot him too. He's acting as a barrier between his hinds and the drove of stags that pressure him from the valley. The hinds come higher and higher on the meadow in search of fresh grass, but the stag remains at the bottom of the valley. Suddenly, a stag starts roaring from a ridge above us, totally triggering our stag. At once, he starts coming uphill while throwing threatening roars, and again, we're having front row seats at another spectacular show.
The stag from the ridge goes silent and the dominant stag descends to his hind. It's getting darker and darker. We want to take a look at the stag that was rolling from uphill and carefully make our way to the ridge without being seen by the stag we just filmed. Arrived on the ridge, we realize the mountain is boiling on this side with several stags roaring their lungs out. That's not all. A couple hundred meters from us, we spot the saw with three cubs from our last trip. She's also bewildered by the madness taking place downhill. I suspect there are two dominant stags coming towards the alpine meadows with their hinds and they're being followed by a horde of satellite stags. In the last rays of light, I managed to take two short videos of one of the two dominant stags as he comes out of the alpine thicket and he seems to be a very big bull. It's the end of a marvelous day. The next morning before sunrise, I hear roars just downhill from us, so I get up early from my tent. A limping stag is crossing the meadow. Unfortunately, these are the last videos from this two-day trip, but we'll be back shortly.